friends, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we are going to do a kid-friendly room makeover. What happens when you let your 10-year-old 100% design her own room? We're gonna find out. Along the way, I'm also gonna be sharing some storage and organization tips that are kid-friendly and parent-friendly. And today's video is sponsored in part and with thanks to Dwelt, and I can't wait to share more about it. Today we are focusing on my daughter's room, another blank slate. We have a lot of the items that we already need, but we need to add some character. It's bland, it's blank. My daughter is the furthest from bland and blank. She loves color, she loves pattern, she loves excitement. She is bubbly and joyful, and this room needs to match her personality. Now, Addie has this really cute built-in desk. Pretty sure it is circa 1970s when the house was built, and so it needs a little love. We need a little updating, and what better way to do that than with paint? So I'm actually working with Dwill on this project, and we are gonna use their wood furniture paint, and I'm gonna show you all the benefits of this kit, the paint itself, and then we're gonna transform this whole desk situation into something that's vibrant and current. Let me show you everything that comes in this kit. Comes with pre-taped plastic for your floor. Comes with a full kit, masking tape, paintbrush and stir stick, gloves, foam roller, and sandpaper if you need to sand any repairs. And of course, the paint itself. Now my daughter went with a pre-mixed color called cold turquoise, but you can also get a mix your own kit. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Now there's a few things that I like about the desk. It's built-in storage, it's already here. We're going to just tweak it a little bit, but it has these really cute vintage knobs that I love and will continue to use. And with the Dwill paint, I'm gonna make them pop a little bit more because right now it's white on white and Addie chose a very bold turquoise. Now, Dwill has taken the guesswork out of repainting wood furniture. Everything you need comes in one kit, no sanding required, low VOCs, low odor, and it ends up with a very durable semi-gloss finish. The coverage of this Dwill wood furniture paint is incredible. I did not sand, I just lightly cleaned the desk prior to painting, and it goes on so smooth and comes out with this beautiful semi-gloss finish. Now, if you're looking for something very customized, you can also get the white wood furniture paint with water-based colorants and mix your own. This also allows you to stretch your paint and your budget a little further if you only need a small amount of every color for a specialized project. I was so impressed with this dual cabinet paint, how it dried quickly, has low odor, and it was super easy to use, and the desk was ready for use right after it was painted. Now Addie's desk is done and she loves how it turned out. And now we get to tackle that top and the surrounding room to complete her bedroom makeover. Make sure to check out Dwill with all the information linked in my description. The desk is painted and now I'm gonna tackle the walls with a very light bluish aqua color that Addie chose all on her own. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. This is the color that you picked. Yeah. Time to put things back where they were with some tweaks. Now let's be reminded that Addie fully designed every element of this. I am just enacting her plan. And so I'm following very specific instructions on what she wanted done. She kind of cracks me up a little bit. But I get it, because I'm the same way. She learned it from me. These Roman shades are a great example of letting her pick the design of this room. I never would have picked this design. I'm not fun, I guess. But she is a fun personality, and so I let her pick these, and they go so well. Like. I don't know if she had all of this in her mind when she told me what she wanted because it was very piecemeal over quite a few weeks of her coming up with what she wanted. But whatever she had in her mind is turning out really cute in person. What's the problem? Get in here. I always 
works if you beat on it. Now, Abby loves to draw and doodle and do artwork in general. So I found these, you can like adjust how the wires fit and then you can pop magnetic clips on them. And it's a really easy way to switch in and out artwork, which will be perfect because I swear she does 15 new pieces of artwork a day. So this is for her to decide what she wants to display on a whim. Now it has these little clips on it. Some of her art just handy right here for that. The Golden Arch of Paris. Welcome, have all the fun you want. <laughs> she cracks me up. So then it just clips right onto those wires. How fantastic. Now let's finish the desk. All right, now, this is laminate, I think. Yeah, it's a 70s laminate, so the best kind there was. I would like to make it look like wood without putting the effort of actually making it wood. So when we bought the house, I was going to wrap this in real wood and make a new desktop out of it and just use what's here as the, basically like the stability for it. But that sounded like a lot of work. So instead, I went back to an old standby. I used this in our last house's laundry room and it held up for five years until we moved. It's still there. It's still holding up. Who knows how long it could go, but it is a vinyl, sticky vinyl that looks like wood. So we're just going to cover it. This happens to be the exact, exact width that I need to cover this front to back and pull over on the side. So not gonna work for everybody's situation, but for mine, I know it's a tried and true method. It worked for five years. Even if this doesn't last five years as an art desk, it was a $26 investment to completely transform the way that this desktop looks. It's gonna be great. So this is a contact paper, but it installs much the same way as a peel and stick wallpaper, which I have a tutorial on. And this <clears throat> size and application and the fact that I have to do this makes it a little trickier than a normal wallpaper installation, but eventually we do get there. I remember this at the last house being one of those projects where I was like, oh my gosh, why did I do this to myself? And then at the end I was like, okay, it wasn't so bad. So that's what I'm hoping for today. That corner is not perfect. It's about an eighth of an inch off, but is good enough and I'm gonna put a basket in front of it and call it good. Sometimes if you have a really stubborn air bubble, just take your X-Acto knife and pick, like just, that's it. And it'll let the air have a spot to come out without being noticeable. Instead of endlessly scraping your air bubbles to nowhere, cause they never, sometimes they just don't wanna come out. You get air, all your air bubbles out before I put this down because otherwise there's nowhere for them to escape. And here's the plan. I'm not going to tell Addie that this is like a sticker because that's just too tempting. It's going to be real wood in her mind that she can't play with or peel up. Let's see how it goes. Now to add back all her treasures. I think this desk deserves its own before and after. I'm always amazed by what paint can do, but also adding this contact paper to the top made such a huge difference in modernizing the entire space. Let's build another nightstand, shall we? 
feel like I'm gonna be a professional at this by the end of this move. Now, if you saw my last two bedroom makeovers, you saw that I used this plug that you push in, makes it completely flush, and then your one cord can be hidden using these sticky things and run along the trim to wherever you need it to be. And then it has an extension cord attached to it. So this is a great solution when there is either a piece of furniture that's butting up to it so that it's completely flush, or when in this situation, there's no plug behind the bed for all the things that need to be plugged into her nightstand. So rather than having a bunch of cords ugly running down this way, and then behind, I only have this flat cover and one cord that I can secure along the wall and push everything nice and neat to the back. Genius. Nice and neat. Now this area was my biggest pet peeve. It was just full of junk and it was never actually in the little cubby I had before. And so I'm finally giving her an actual nightstand. Oh look, a little cute hedgehog. She'll like that right there. And we're going to place her books in here so that she can actually see what she has. It'll last for like a week, maybe a day. But at least I'll feel better knowing I tried. Her little nighttime crafts that she does every single night. She's constantly making bracelets. They can go right in here. Everything has a little home. It's all wonderful. Phoenixes right inside the drawer. Let's go. Now there are certain items like a Lego basket that just are sitting in the middle of the floor and she really doesn't have a lot of floor space. It's a large room, but it's actually an awkward size. It's very, very narrow and long, which makes it just kind of, there's no floor space. And I have something really big coming for right here. So I found these, it's like under the bed storage, but you basically just assemble it. And then it becomes this with wheels and a basket. And so I'll be able to just, hopefully, <laughs> dump them on in here. They zip up. These were made for like blankets or clothes for under the bed storage, but I thought this would work better. Is there anything under there now? There's no telling. So now anytime that she wants to play with them, she can roll them out. And then, what's under there? Something is under there. Oh, that's fine. She can roll them out and roll them back in. And then they're out of the way. She'll probably forget about them under there, but at least I tried. About right for her height. Short for it all, but she's not there yet. One thing left. The final piece of the puzzle, the first thing that Addie asked me for when we decided we were moving, I said, what do you want to do in your new room? She said, I want a hanging swing. And I was like, inside? And she said yes. So here we are making it happen. Ooh, that's bigger and heavier than I thought. So my original plan was to hang it from the ceiling, but then all I could imagine was her spinning in it and running into the wall with the bar or her friends coming and jumping into it and ripping it out of the ceiling. And so I decided instead to bring in a legit stand it's going to take up floor space, but I think will just be a better solution for a 10 year old. So here we go. One last thing to build. She wanted a hanging chair. We got her one. Mom's got to test it out first, right? Okay. 
low as she can spin. She'll like that, but it might be a problem. Okay. I'm calling this a mom win. I think she'll be happy with this. And it's not hanging from my ceiling. Now let me show you around a little bit. Every time I said, do you want a piece of art above the bed? She said, no. And the designer in me was like, missed opportunity. But the entire point of this project was to create something that she loves and that she wants. And she didn't want art above the bed, so we didn't put art above the bed. And it also kind of allows her cutie little floral-ish looking lamp to stand out as a piece of art. And this hanging lamp is what she uses every night to read in bed. Now you'll notice that a lot of things stayed the same. I changed the paint color, I changed the desk color and the desk top. A lot of the other decor we already owned from our last house and she just put it on the walls where she wanted to put it, whether it made sense visually or not. But I actually really love how it all came together, especially the area above her dresser, because these are hand-painted pieces that my mother did for her, and so they hold a lot of extra special meaning. Another designer trap that we tend to fall into is having a lot of bed pillows on a bed. Let's talk about 10-year-olds and bed pillows. Most do not care, but do they care about squishmallows? You betcha. And so that's what we've got on her bed as her bed pillows. She sleeps with them every night, she loves them. Put one in her hanging chair here, little buddy. And I really think she's gonna enjoy the hanging chair. It's gonna be her little hangout spot. We upgraded the nightstand from a simple cubby nightstand that just had everything spilling out all the time to one with drawers. This makes it a little bit easier to hide the clutter and to keep it a little bit more organized as much as possible. Now let me show you some of the organizational hacks that we did. Remember the Legos. We have those right under here. And she can simply unzip these now and play with them and then push them back under when she's done. That would also be a great option for shoes or clothes or even blankets, like extra blankets that you don't want out and taking up floor space. Then let's go over to the desk. Now I really love how this vintage desk turned out. The turquoise paint from Dwill really makes the vintage white knobs pop. We remember added the contact paper. It's kind of hard to tell that it's not wood unless you are up close. And it lightened the whole space and it modernized the whole space. Now, inside of here, we have all kinds of bins for her crafts. We kind of have a spot for everything. I really love this. She can pull it out, she can set it on the desktop, and then she has all of her crayons at hand. And then inside the cabinet, we have easy to pull out baskets full of paint and crafts and all of the things that she can go through anytime she wants and then put them right back in, which makes using a cabinet a little bit easier than if you're just shoving things in and then they get lost in the back put it in a basket and you can pull it out, use what you need and put it back when you're done. And then on this side, we have more organizational items for crafts. I really like these craft totes because if she wants to bring it downstairs, she can and we can do them down like at the kitchen counter or she can just leave them in here, pull out what she needs, pop it back just like a basket. We also have other kinds of totes, pop up lids for a million markers and all the things she just really loves to do crafts and that makes this a usable space now if you remember we added the clips over here she's already started to add her artwork she built her dream kitchen must be the fact that we're renovating our house that that's on her mind but she also did this cutie little panda and the clips are magnetic so they really easily just pop off and then you can pop it back on problem solved over here we have a laundry hamper with an open top because if there's a top on it, you're guaranteed that the clothes aren't gonna make it inside. So open tops for the win, put it in someplace visible so they can just throw them on in there. And then this piece is actually really versatile. So it's got the open bins for stuffed animals, bulky items, things that just kind of are easy to take in and out and visually able to see. And then it's got a lot of storage bins. I have books in here, I have crafts in here. 
but I really like that this is shallow. And so we had this in her closet at the last house and it worked really great for closet organization. But this house, the closets are smaller and so we put it right in the room and it holds so much stuff. Over here we have her dresser, jewelry organizer, her favorite artwork, closet, which we'll get to that. Not in this project, but it's gonna come. And this is where she displays her treasures. Handmade pottery, always must be on display. Hammer from last Christmas, apparently a very important treasure. And so with this room, a lot of it was just getting the paint colors that she wanted, adding that personality through color that was lacking immensely in an all white room, adding things like the swing that was really important for her and just organizing all of the chaos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing her room come together. Make sure and check out my Dwell wood furniture paint in the caption and more details will be shared on the entire room, all the decor, all the paint colors right down in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.